From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Sportsline. And there, Titans talk on your television. Steve Lehman here with you. Glad you are here with us on this Monday night on News Channel 5 Plus. It is a victory Monday. The Titans went up to Indianapolis and beat the Colts 34-31 in overtime yesterday. But it sort of felt like a deflating money, kind of like all the air went out of Nashville or at least Nissan Stadium today because you woke up to the news that the Titans were getting an MRI for Derrick Henry, that they feared a season-ending injury for the star running back. And the news was not good after that as well. We don't know the timetable. We don't know if it indeed will be season-ending. But Derrick Henry will be out for the foreseeable future. He will have surgery in the morning. He's already been placed on injured reserve, and that means he'll be out. The injured reserve designation means it's at least three weeks. We know it's going to be more than that, and he's going to have to work his way back. Can he get back this season? It is the million-dollar question right now for the Tennessee Titans because he is obviously so important to what they do. And... The way it happened was kind of a nondescript thing. You didn't leave the game yesterday thinking that this was on the table. Now, you knew he was beat up. You knew he wasn't right. He didn't run like himself yesterday after we saw him sort of limp off the field and get medical attention early on in the first quarter of the game when things were going so south. But he came back out there. He ran 28 times. Only at 68 yards. The explosiveness and the big plays weren't there for Derek yesterday, but he had some enormous pickups late in the game. A huge fourth and one. Some short yardage plays where he made a nice cut or made a guy miss, reached out for the first down. He was still an impactful player yesterday in that game for the Titans. And so you felt like, okay, he's beat up, but it's probably not that bad, right? Well, then after the game, he was unable to make his media obligations, which is fine. Guys have done that before. But that raised some alarm. And then, of course, the word this morning that they were going to get the MRI. And it turns out that Derrick Henry has what is described as the Jones injury. That is a fracture of the fifth metatarsal in the right foot. And so that is what is going to have to be surgically repaired in the morning. And the typical time frame for that recovery can range as far as 6 to 14 weeks. More so, it's usually 8 to 12. But it gets into a tricky place for the Titans because you're talking about the franchise player right here in Derrick Henry, a guy who is in the MVP race as a running back for this team and for the league. He leads the league in carries. He leads the league in rushing yards. He leads the league in touchdowns. And right now, when it comes to the Titans' rushing attack of the offense, he is essentially 80% of what the Titans get production-wise. Whether that's the carries, whether that's the yards, whether that's the touchdowns, he's 80% of what the Titans produce in the running game. That's all gone and off the table right now because of this injury. So what does that mean for a Titans team that with that win yesterday now has a three-game lead in the AFC South and holds the number one seed as we stand right now in the AFC? It's obviously a huge loss. It will impact the second half of this season. There's no question about it. But when it comes to Derrick Henry and his ability to get back, the Titans are going to have to make a decision about how quickly they allow him to work himself back. Because you know Derrick Henry, who is one of the hardest workers in all of professional sports, he's going to attack this rehab the moment he can do it. And you know that he's going to try to get back as fast as possible. But will the Titans allow him to get back at a breakneck speed because of the value that he has to this season right now and this team? Or will they be somewhat cautious with the guy that they have a lot invested in over the next couple of seasons in a window that they feel like 
they can compete not just to win the AFC South, which looks like they're going to do for the second consecutive season, but to get to a Super Bowl, to potentially win the Super Bowl for the first time and have that parade down Broadway. All of their plans are built around Derrick Henry being right in the middle of it. And that's going to be a difficult challenge because here's the deal with the Jones injury. If you get the surgery and if you recover properly, you come back at full strength, essentially as if nothing happened, and the production moving forward in your career is considered to not see a blip, considered to be exactly what you were able to do before the injury. The problem is, is there have been guys in the NFL over the last decade or so that have pushed that to get back more quickly. And the instances of guys who've come back from the injury in less than 10 weeks have seen a very high rate of re-injury, the need for an additional surgery, and in several of those cases, a production drop-off later on in their career because of it. So that's the real question that the Titans have when it comes to Derrick Henry right now. Because as you look out on the calendar, 10 weeks, which is kind of the barometer here, right? That's the end of the regular season. 11 weeks is wild card weekend. So if you just look at the calendar, it stands the reason it's possible that you wouldn't have to go at breakneck speed and you might be able to get Derrick Henry back. But the other part of that is a good portion of this, that foot's got to be immobile. You can't do as much on that foot during that time. That's a problem in terms of your conditioning, in terms of your strength and all of that. And so if you wait to 10 or 11 weeks, what can Henry immediately do? We're used to him running 25 to 30 times a game. He gets better as games go along. But I don't know if you can wait 10 weeks and bring him back for the regular season finale or even the first game of the playoffs and expect anything near that. And if you only get 13 or 14 carries out of Derrick Henry, is that worth it? Given his long-term viability. Those are the questions that they're all going to have to tackle when it comes to Derrick Henry and this team moving forward. I think there is some hope today, given the information we've got, that this may not be a season-ending injury. That it is possible that he could get back to the playoffs. But when it does get close to that time, the Titans are going to have to think very long and hard about what they want from Henry as he tries to work himself back. Do they want to push it up and get him on the field in the regular season to try to work him back slowly that he can pick up the pace in the postseason? Do they want to make sure that he gets that 10-week window in and protect him long term? Those are the questions that they are going to have to answer. We'll try to answer a few more of them as we get into the show tonight as well. Let's go to the phones here. Sneak a few in before our first break. Say hello first to Scott. Scott, good evening. Welcome to Titans hey. Talk. Hey, Steve. Thanks, man. Thanks for taking my call. Um, yeah, so I, I wake up. I, I hear the news. It makes me about sick to my stomach, right? So I hear that they um, they signed Adrian Peterson, you know, seven-time Pro Bowl. The last time he played, he only played like 10 games. He had almost, uh, what, a little over 600 yards. So if you would have finished the whole season, you're talking well over 1,000 yards, right? So, you know, I'm okay with them bringing him in. You know, he, he knows how to block. He knows how to run. Um, my question is, with them signing – Adrian Peterson, are they still going to go out and try to make the team a little bit better with maybe picking up a, a Kyle Fuller or a, a, a wide receiver or maybe a defensive tackle? And my second question is, and as soon as I ask it, I'll hang up and let you go ahead and talk. My second question is, uh, do you think Kristen Fulton will come back this week? All right. Well, well thank you, man. I'll hang up and let you 
answer, answer all that. Y yeah, you bet. Uh, I can tell you this. Uh, I know that Christian Fulton is working himself back into form. Now, whether that means he will come off injured reserve this week and be able to play Sunday night in Los Angeles, I don't know. But I think he's close. So I think Christian Fulton will come back soon, whether that's this week or next week. I, I think you'll see him on the field. That's huge news for the Titans secondary, obviously. I think it also lessens the likelihood that they're going to make a move before tomorrow's trading deadline to help the secondary out. You've got Amani Hooker back. Kevin Byard's playing like an all-pro. Jack Jenkins has played much better in the last couple of weeks. If you get Fulton back into that mix, I think you feel okay there. I think you feel good about the pass rush of what you've gotten to this point of the season. Bud Dupree's starting to look more and more like himself as well. So that's what you're looking for with the Titans right now there. So I don't think you'll see that. If they make any other move, I think it's going to be a running back tomorrow. I think it's if they can strike a deal for like a Ronald Jones or something like that to pull him away from Tampa and say, you're going to be the guy here. You're going to carry 20 times a game until Henry comes back. That That's what I think you might see. But honestly, the Peterson signing today may take that off the table as well. Back to the phones we go. Sneak one more in here. Don, how are you? Welcome to Titans Talk. Hey, how you doing, Chris, man? I appreciate the show. Uh, I just had a comment for, you know, uh, the, the Henry situation, man. He, like I said, he, he's, he's a good core. I mean, he's a good running back. Uh, but we all have been seeing good running backs in, 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 our, in, our, in our team before. And a lot of times when they get an injury like that, that general manager, dude, he's probably already probably looking for somebody for next year. Just because of the simple fact that this is a business, and they're going to want somebody that's completely healthy in that position. Now, Derek is—I think he's a spectacular. I mean, he's a spectacular running back. I mean, he, he, he electrifies the whole field. But it all comes back down to you know what I'm saying. I mean, you know, how is the organization going to feel by having a, a super healthy, 100% healthy guy in that backfield? And now it's coming out. Now the guy, his, his, that little bone in his foot is, is, is going to hurt his, you know, going to kind of hurt him a little bit here. But it's all up to right now. It looks like the general manager and, and you know, and, and whatever that they're going to try to do. Uh, Adrian Peterson, you know, he's he's had injuries too. But he's, he's still in the game, you know. 13, 14 years later. Yeah, yeah. And Don, uh, I got to take a break here, but I appreciate the call. That's the thing that Adrian Peterson has set himself apart. He's 14 years in. He's proven he can overcome injuries and he can be durable. Henry is as durable as it comes. This is an injury that unfortunately happened and is going to impact this year. But he should be able to come back and hopefully be himself moving forward. That's how the Titans have to be careful about how they handle this. But they have a lot of money in his contract on the line for the next couple of seasons. So it is in their best interest to handle him with care during this process in terms of how quickly they need to get him back. Much more on this injury with Dr. David Cho, pro football doc, when we come back. Dr. David Chow, when we come back here on Titans Talk, here on News Channel 5 Plus.